Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to make a bootable USB key or USB thumb drive, USB flash drive uh, with the Catalina operating system on it. So this will allow you to boot any Mac with the Catalina operating system and install the Catalina operating system on that Mac without having to connect that Mac uh, to the internet and re-download the operating system. So you'll have to download the operating system once to, uh, to boot it uh, or to load it here. But uh, this is a good way if you have a whole bunch of computers to uh, install the same operating system on. So the first step is to get a USB thumb drive, uh, USB flash key. And that should be a drive that is 32 megabytes or larger in size. And just insert it into your computer like you normally would. So here we've got uh, just a generic USB key. So we'll put it here and it should appear on the desktop. So it's just called No Name. And if we do a get info on it, we should see that this one is 32 gigs in size. Uh, more often than not, they're going to come pre-formatted in MS-DOS FAT32. Now the installation process will actually uh, reformat it for you. And what we're going to do, it can actually be called anything, but just for the sake of simplicity, with the command that we're going to type in, I'm going to rename it here. I'm going to reformat this so that we can uh, rename it. So we need to open up Disk Utility. So you can click here on Spotlight and type in disk and then it should come up disk utility automatically. Just double click on that and find the drive that you have. So here it's called no name. So we're gonna erase this. And then Mac OS extended journal is fine. So we'll call it Mac installer. Now, if you know the command later, um, this can be called anything, but just for sake of simplicity, I'm calling it Mac Installer with capital M and capital I. And then hit Erase. And it should unmount the disk and erase it. Sometimes you might get an error when it's doing this, in which case um, you can force it to unmount manually or you can uh, run the formatting process again. So I've seen this sometimes that that happens. In this case, I think it's going to work successfully. Okay, our thumb drive is erased. And now it is called Mac Installer. So we can close Disk Utility. And now what we need to do is get a copy of Catalina. So there's two ways to get it. Right now, Catalina, at the moment of um, this video, is the most current operating system. So if you open the App Store, you'll usually get an advertisement for it right on the front page. You can click that and then hit download. Now, if you're watching this when a newer operating sim system is out there, they tend to hide the old operating systems. So I'm going to show you uh, another way of getting access to it. So I'm just going to temporarily quit the App Store. And I'm going to go into Safari. And in Safari, you open up this web page here, and I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, but this is a tech article that Apple puts up for each operating system. They're all fairly similar. And it shows you how to upgrade to the operating system. So one thing that's good uh, that it puts in each one of these articles is the compatibility of the operating system with different Macs. So if you want to load this on a Mac that you have, then check to make sure that it's at least this level or newer or the loading won't work. It also reminds you to make a backup. So uh, I would give you the same advice. Make sure you have a time machine backup before you do um, any loading of the operating system on any computer. And then you need to download uh, Catalina. So if Catalina is not in the Apple Store at the time that you're viewing this video, what you can do is open this from the link in the description, find this step number four, and click this link right here, Get Mac OS Catalina. The App Store opens, and you're taken directly to the Catalina page. At that point, you can download it. So hit download to download the operating system. Now this can take quite some time 
depending on the size of or speed of your internet connection. Uh, so we can see here, the operating system is almost 5 gigabytes, 4.9 gigabytes in size. So if you've got a slower internet connection, this could take half an hour, could even take an hour to download. Uh, fortunately, we've got a fairly quick internet connection. So we'll see that it's going to take about five minutes to download. So um, even still, I'm going to speed this process up so you don't have to watch the whole thing download. And then we'll come right back when we're ready to move on with the uh, building of the USB installer. Our Catalina installer has fully downloaded. And what the Mac will do automatically at that point is to open up the install macOS Catalina application. So we don't need to do that because we're not actually installing it right now. We just need the installer to create the key. So click here on install macOS Catalina and click on quit in Mac, quit install macOS. All right, we can also quit the app store. We don't need that open anymore. So now we have an installer and actually I'll show you where that's sitting. If we open a new finder window, go to applications, then it should actually be sitting in your applications folder, install macOS Catalina. So we're actually gonna use this file to create our USB key. Now, what we need to do is open up the terminal window. And since we're in applications, I'll show you where terminal is. If you scroll down to the bottom of applications, there's a folder called utilities. And inside utilities, there's a program called terminal. That's the one we're gonna to use to issue the commands. That's also where disk utility was that we opened earlier. And when you need to open terminal, you can also click on spotlight and type in terminal and then it'll pop up automatically. If you double click that, it'll open as well. But here I'll show you opening from here. So we just open up a new terminal window. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the application folder that we just, sorry, the application file that we just downloaded and we're gonna install it on this USB key that we just formatted. So to do that, we need to type in a password, or sorry, a command. Now that command is going to have to be validated with your computer password at the end. That's the password you're going to use to log on to your computer. So when you set up your computer in the first place, you chose a password. That's the password that it's going to be asking for. So if you don't know that password, I won't really be able to help you because that's something personal you chose. So the first thing we do is type in sudo or sudo slash applications. Now I'm going to put this command in the description below so you can copy and paste it. That's why I created the file a name this way on the USB key so you could copy and paste it and it should hopefully work unless you have any typos. Now we're going to put in install macOS Catalina app. So that's the application that we just downloaded from the internet and then contents and then resources and then create install media and then a space two dashes the word volume space slash volumes so this is now we're pointing it towards our usb key and then mac installer and then what we do is put a space two more dashes type in no interaction that way it's just not asking us a bunch of uh, yes no questions as the uh, installation is happening space ampersand ampersand or the and sign and then say done that way the command will just say done when we're finished and when we hit enter hopefully this will start the uh, installation process so it'll ask for the password so this is the password of my computer right here right now great so you'll see what it's doing now it's erasing the uh, usb drive usb thumb disk sorry, thumb drive, flash drive. Um, so it'll take a couple of minutes to uh, erase and format into the format that it wants for the installer. Then it's actually gonna rename it. So you can see it's popped back up on the desktop here. 
install macOS Catalina. And then that's going to take a while to copy the files. Remember, it's a five gigabyte file. And these um, USB flash drives are usually fairly slow. So the five gigabyte file copy can take quite some time. And it has to organize uh, the operating system on there and put the installer. So it's a, a different process than just doing a drag and drop of the installer over there because that uh, that won't work. It has to build an operating system on here and put the installer in the right place and have all the files so they all boot the system and pop everything up automatically. So you'll see you get a little bit of um, uh, status here as far as its um, progress. So here it's at 0% and then you should get some more as it goes along but this can take quite some time. So again uh, depending on the speed of your system and your drive and everything like that could take 20 minutes could take an hour I've even seen it take an hour and a half so you just have to let it sit and do its thing in the meantime you can check your email you can uh, go into Safari uh, or Chrome or Firefox and browse the internet that type of thing um, so you can do general stuff on your computer don't shut down your computer don't reboot your computer or it'll mess up the whole process but you can let this kind of uh, go along in the background. And when it's finished, because we wrote up here, say done, then it'll say done when it's finished. So rather than let you sit for 20 minutes here and watch this uh, whole uh, process, I'm gonna speed this up and we'll come right back when it's finished. The creation of our bootable installer is now complete. So you'll see we got uh, progress here. And then at the end, uh, we got the computer saying done. So now the command comes back to a, a blank uh, command entry line here. So we know it's 100% complete. And then you see over here, the USB flash drive has been renamed to install macOS Catalina. And if we open it up here, all we can really see is the install file. But there's actually more in the way of hidden files on here that allows you to boot up your computer. So I'm going to switch over to camera mode now and show you how you will boot up your computer using this. And then how you would start off the um, installation of the Catalina operating system. We are now in camera mode and we have our USB flash drive installed. You can see the icon on the screen. If we go down, you can see it's just a generic flash drive, USB thumb drive installed in the computer. So when you have it installed and you're ready to boot, what you do is go up to the Apple menu like normal, restart your computer, or boot any new computer. And then when the computer boots, the first thing you do is hold down the option key. And keep that option key held down. And keep holding it down, holding it down. And then as the computer boots up, it will give you a choice of either booting from the internal hard drive or booting from the actual USB key. So you can see the hard drive or the bootable installer. Uh, here on some flash drives, you might see a Windows partition as well. So here, just choose this. You can actually click on it with your mouse or go back and forth with the keyboard keys. Click on the arrow and it will boot up using that USB key. So we'll let it boot up and then I'll show you the screen that comes up next. The computer has booted up and we can now see the macOS utilities menu. And as soon as that menu comes up then you can do any of the functions uh, that you normally would with this uh, from, from the installer. So you can use the disk utility if you need to format or repair the hard drive. You can install the operating system either after you format it or you can install it over top of an existing older operating system like Sierra or something like that if you wanted to just upgrade the computer. Or you can actually restore uh, from a time machine backup if you have a time machine hard drive hooked up to this computer as well. So we have a few options here and they're just like in any of the uh, 
other installers that you have except it's running off of the USB key. Now one thing to note is that when you boot from the USB key it will probably take longer than your computer normally takes to boot up because the USB keys or USB flash drives they're slower than internal storage like an internal hard drive or an internal solid state drive. So if you need to do disk utility you just open up here and you're able to see the disks if you need to erase or fix it with first aid. Once you close that, the menu comes back up and if you need to install, you just click there and click continue. And the installer will start up. And at that point, you can install Catalina. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make a bootable USB flash drive installer for macOS Catalina. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so that you can see more new tutorial videos as they come out and comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on new videos that we can produce and also share this video with your friends share it out on social media with anyone that you think might benefit from a tutorial on how to create a bootable USB Catalina installer. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.